Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. We are here at one of our facilities, an oxygen nitrogen station, and we're going to show you around. We're also being accompanied by one of our local TV stations. So let's walk around, take a look at everything we have, and see how some of the machinery operates. Here we go. As usual, it starts with the air compressor. In this case, it is an 18 and a half kilowatt compressor. There's a filter. It's very dry here in the room. We even have filters on the ground. There's no moisture here as you can see. There's dust, but no moisture. There's a refrigeration dryer. It is a refrigerated dehumidifier. Here's the nameplate, I'll show you. Some Chinese brand, best, that gives three and six cubic meters per minute. Let's see, I'll show you the nameplate. You can press stop and see. There here, it has parameters. As we see here, we have 2.9 cubic meters per minute of air and 3.6 meters cubic per hour air dryer with a little gap with a stock air receiver like this. We've got from four to six bar in it. We've got some air here, interesting. Air diverges, one goes to oxygen and one goes to nitrogen. And there we have it, oxygen station. This is what it looks like, this way. Now we have the concentration, as we see, 95.34 to 95.6. That's pretty good. It's working great. Everything is very well done here. So we have the intermediate oxygen receiver. That means from it, oxygen goes out of the station and back in. It goes back in, then it goes to the consumer. Here's the line. It goes here. Let's check the oxygen. Here we have a compressor like this. The compressor consists of two parts. This is the first part, like a booster compressor. This is the second one. This is originally a booster compressor. This compressor was designed to be working at 99 and 7 concentration station. 99 and 5 was a pilot station. And this booster compressor is capable of operating at pressure from one bar meaning that it is almost no overpressure. It can suck in the first two stages. Then there are three more stages. Here's the nameplate. There's a 12 cubic meter station, each of them separately. It goes on. There's an extra ramp. Here we have some posters. They're made beautifully. Here they are. Ramp and cylinders are being filled here. Here you can see, there's a room like this. The room is perfect for the station, and we suggest for the modifications to make this ventilation system on the outlet of air and also here. Here is an interesting element. It is a nitrogen station. It is our little station. This is what it looks like. There's an adsorption dryer inside. There's an extra one so that you can get a higher concentration here. We can see that it is very simple here. The entrance to the collet is simple. Air and nitrogen outputs, that is all. Power supply like from the computer, it plugs in. That's all and we've got the nitrogen air receiver. We shut off the oxygen behind the oxygen line and turn on the nitrogen station. And we can use the booster compressor in inclusion for nitrogen since we have made an oil-free oxygen station. The piston compressor, respectively, can also pump nitrogen and it has no problems. But there is a problem, for example. It will not work to pump oxygen, but for the nitrogen booster compressor, then it is not possible to pump oxygen with it. It will work, but in the opposite direction. You can just go up to oxygen. There are special requirements for gaskets for the use of rubber there. Some elements. There are more restrictions for nitrogen. Nitrogen is an inert gas, and respectively, when we stop using oxygen, we purge the whole system with nitrogen. And we work with nitrogen. All written on local language as customer acquired, naturally. Here we go. We have all the parameters. We have a wonderful station. This station here already works. There's one in Africa. 
Equatorial Guinea, and in Mongolia, beyond the Arctic Circle. Now here it is still different. Now other countries are buying, including a lot of exports. If you have any questions, please contact us. Subscribe. There will be many new interesting videos we will tell, showing also today which testings we have conducted. Also, here we filled an oxygen cylinder and did the cutting with it, but it's also in a separate video you can watch. A little spoiler, yes, it cuts very well on this oxygen. We tried to cut the tubes directly, that is, but they are completely hollow. I mean completely. That's 20 millimeters. The welders are also kind of happy. They're smiling and in general, they have no complaints about the cut. Here is also in hospital here, and in all countries around, people are starting to use oxygen for medicine. Because for the consumer, directly on ventilators, or on some, medical use is sufficient. Oxygen output to 80% to 90%. 95% is even a lot. So accordingly, many local hospitals, local oil and gas companies in the area, will be using nitrogen cylinders with this station. We have such a project. The customer is very satisfied. If you have any questions, just contact us. And subscribe. See you soon.